a time had to be when all of us were ready. Um, you know, I think we split up because we wanted to sort of find ourselves individually and to go off and do various things and to just not be committed to each other. You know, we were all responsible for each other's lives because, you know, the band um, was such a big part of our lives. And so we just wanted to give ourselves a bit of space and just kind of go off and, you know, be individuals. And so it was really important then to wait until we were all ready for this again uh, to come back together. And, you know, every year we had um, some interest from uh, promoters and stuff to go on tour and from record labels to make a record. Um, so that wasn't kind of a new thing. It's just that we were eventually and finally ready to agree to those deals that were being offered, which is what we done just last year. And um, it's been very, very exciting. You know, it's, it's our 20 year anniversary as well. So, you know, it's two decades of Westlife um, and two decades with the fans and the media. And it's just a very exciting time for us, you know. Yeah. And what about your collaboration with Ed Sheeran? How did that come about? Yeah, that was actually kind of part of the reason too, I think, that we, I suppose, we started making new music so soon. So we, we got together as a band about eight, eight months ago, um, for the first time, the four of us, to have a chat. And uh, it was a really good day, it was amazing, and we kind of, we all knew straight away we wanted to get back together. Um, but before that, six months before that, Ed Sheeran and Steve Mack, who's our longtime collaborator producer, uh, they were writing songs for Westlife that we did not know about. So that was, uh, that was really cool to hear this story. Was, was Ed supposed to sing those songs? Was he meant no, to sing they those were, songs? No, they, they were actually written for Westlife. They were doing, because they had done the song Shape of You, uh, Ed Sheeran's song Shape of You, like a year before that. So they were starting to write songs for maybe for Ed's album as well. But they, one day they said they wanted to write a Westlife song. So Steve was like, okay, you know, Ed, or Ed said to Steve, you're Mr. Westlife, you know, so let's write a Westlife song. And uh, someday they might sing it, you know. So it was kind of like a, maybe a joke. Um, but that song there was probably going to be our second single, the first song that they wrote. And then they wrote a couple more songs that week, and one of them is Hello My Love. So it was a pretty good week for Westlife, even though we didn't know about it. And what's really funny about what Shane is saying is that there's a version of Hello My Love with Ed Sheeran singing it. Really? Yeah, yeah. because he recorded the demo. July, we're in England in May and June, so there's only... August, July, July August, 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 September. September. We're tightening the gap. So you're somewhere around, around there. Could be November. <laughs> but you're coming, but this is like but this it's year. Not. <laughs> we know it's not, but they don't. It's now they do. Sorry. Let's <laughs> move it on. Hello, my love. I've been searching. What about the album then? At least you can tell us about the drop for that one. Uh, well, and the it's other going to be maybe songs. November. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be after the tour. <laughs> yeah. It'll be it'll, it'll be, be this year. year. 2021. No, no, okay. the, the new album's coming this year, definitely. We're, we're about 50% of the way through. Um, we've got some more songs to do when we get back to the UK. Um, probably, hopefully get it done by the kind of middle of the tour and then release it in probably September, October, November, or December. <laughs> or January, I don't know. Okay, we'll we're wait. Such, we're such funny guys. I know. <laughs> you can't rush perfection anyway, we'll you love you. Your heart is pure and so beautiful. We honestly think the songs that we've had so far, you haven't, you've only heard one song. Um, our next single, is, you're probably going to hear it in a couple of months, and it's, it's, we feel it's even better than Hello My Love. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful song, and we have a lot more to come, so it's, it's going to be a really strong album, we feel. Awesome. I cannot wait. I can't say more. 